you're welcome to my channel mindset academy where we want to reproduce the figure that is displayed at the right hand side of the screen using the principles of tangency now the first thing you should do is to draw your x and your y axis in this manner just take this and you draw at any convenient length of yours you can see that and your y axis also let me bring it down a little bit but you can see that this is where they are meeting which is this point my meter my arrow is pointing now from that point that center to this center here is given as a distance of what 60 so from here i'll measure 60 right so with the help of my meter rule from this point i'm going to measure 60 so from 0 to 6 is going to be what 60 so at that point i also draw my center line this way so since it's a circle we'll be having different center line right i also do a center line here also right and this also i'll do this too i see that these are the center the two center line that i've brought out now in the first center line as in this point where my arrow is pointing the radius of this circle here, you see this arc here, is given us a radius of what 10, right? So I am going to measure the radius of 10 on my metal rule this way from um, 0, right, to 10. Hope you can see that from 0 to 10. What we have and i'll place it at the center here and i'll draw but i'll be using faint line first of all hope you can see that now at this other center here is another circle here and that circle has a diameter of 16 that's the inner circle but we don't need diameter, what we need in tangency is what ratio. So if you divide 16 by 2, you'll be having what? You'll be having 8. I'm going to measure 8. From 0, this is 8 here. Can you see that? And I'll place it at this point here. Where I'm going to draw my circle. Right? Now taking it hope you can see that now the other one has a radius of 32 the outer circle that means divided by two at the diameter of 32 so you divide by two if you have a radius of what of 16 because 16 plus 16 is 32 so i'm going to measure 16 this is 16 here can you see that? And I will place it still at that same center. That is where I'll place it, and I'll draw another circle this way. Wait, I'm going to take in. You can see that? So that is for the two circles now. Now, there's another bigger circle here, which my arrow is pointing. You can see the arrow here. Now, the radius of that circle is given to be what? 27 right but before you can get a circle 
the center of that circle will be the distance away from this center and that distance is what is it so if i can draw this circle i need to measure it right so I'll measure it away from the main center here so from zero here to what to it is it here and at that point that is where we have another what another circle we can place it here and then draw another center there this way let me bring it down a little bit this is what i'll do so long one shot from shot from shot and so on so at this center we have another circle and the circle has the radius of what radius of 27 so i'm going to measure 27 on my metal row from zero this is 20 right this is 20 this is 25 then this is 27 here can you see that and i'll place it at the center point here then i'll draw a circle while well, use faint line this time now if you notice it i'm using the same faint line and like here i use a thick line because this is not the complete circle so from this circle we'll get the shape that you can see that's why i'm using faint line both for these two here now let me start with this i have the radius of here to be given to be 14 that is this arc here the arc is somewhere around here right connecting this and this together and um, it is offset from the center of the main of this from the center line it is offset five millimeter away that means distance of five millimeter right so what i'm going to do is i will add this five and this 14 together is that the key because the circle is five millimeter away from this main line here so if i measure five plus 14 i'll be having 19 so that is the 19 and I'm going to move from this center point here, any of the center you want to, from here, I'm going to measure 19. This is 10, this is 19 here. Can you see that? And on that point, I'll just draw a faint line, right? Just a faint line this way. Hope you can see that. Now aside that, now this circle is going internal like the circle is going what is going is external that the key which i will explain to you now it is external so i'm going to add is that the key and where is it connecting to it's connecting to this bigger circle so i am going to add the radius of what 27 and that of 14 because this circle is connected to this circle right externally so I'm going to add 27 and 14. I'll explain what I mean by externally here now. So when you add 27 by 14, I will ha I'll be having um 41, right? So I'll measure 41 on my meter rule. <coughs> measure 41 on my meter rule. So from 0, this is 40 and this 41 here. Can you see that? And I'll place it at the center. Which center? The center that makes this bigger circle. And center that makes bigger circle is the center here. So I'm going to place it at that point. Now strike an arc. So this is where it is meeting it here. Right? So from that point, I'm going to draw a circle this way. Just take this center point as my reference point. Center point as my reference point. So this is what I'm going to do here. This is what we have. Now I was telling you that I'm going to explain to you what it means by what external. External means there's another circle here this way. Can you see that circle? The circle is external to this circle. That means the circle is outside this circle. Is that okay now? So that will say external. And whenever it's external, you're going to what? You're going to add. Is that okay now? So we proceed. I just make the head for you so you understand. So the center of the circle from here to here, let me just show you a good example. From here to this point, 
I will be having the radius of what? The radius of 14. Can you see that? So we proceed. Now we we'll move to the next one. I'm talking about this now. Right? Now similarly, if you notice that at this point here, if you look at the diagram, this point here, you have this circle, this line touching, connecting this circle to this circle. There's a line, then there's an arc connecting this circle to this circle here, right? And the arc has a radius of what? Of um, 62, as you can see here. Let's look in. But what you need to understand is that the arc is external to this circle. I've explained to you now with this, what I will say explain again to you. So the arc is external to this circle. So you are going to what? You are going to add, right? So first of all, what is the rate of this circle? The rate is what? It's 10. And what is the rate of that arc? That is what? 62, right? So 10 plus 62 <coughs> will give us 72. So I'm going to take my meter rule. I'm going to measure 72 from 0. This is 71. To two, right from zero to seventy two. Is that the key? And I'll place it at the center point here. And I'm going to strike an arc at one side here. Hope you can see that. That is for that one, it's a standard that we're adding. Why on this part here? right it is internal that means the circle is inside the main circle which i will explain to you so you're going to subtract so what is the radius of this circle that will be 16 that is half of 32 we will be what 16 and since this 32 is diameter so you divide by 2 to become radius and that will be what 16 so we have the 16 plus the radius of that arc connecting both of them which is 62 16 plus the 2 that will give us what that will give us 40 what 46 Right, so I'm going to measure 46 on my meter rule from zero. This is 45, and this 46 here. Hope you can see that. And I'm going to place it at the center of the circle I'm considering, and I'm going to strike an arc. And this is where we are meeting here. Can you see that? So I'll now take my compass and I'll place it at this point here where they meet. Then I'll take it to one of the circles, right? Then I'll start doing the needful. Hope you can see that. Then I'll start doing what? Start doing the needful. This is what we mean by what? They are connecting. So I will show you a good experiment here now. If I should complete this this way see what's happening if i should complete this this way say i want to continue see this app coming here you don't have to do this i'm just explaining to come in here now what do you notice this arc you're seeing this circle you're seeing here is external to this right this circle is what is external that is why what I am subtracting the radius of what I'm adding both of them with this. Well, this circle here you see in here, this is what internal. That is why I am what I am subtracting. Right? The circle you're seeing is inside this bigger circle. That is why what I'm subtracting. The circle here is outside the bigger circle. That is why what I'm adding. That is what I mean by what? internal and external that they can so now with after doing that remember we only need this so let me just bring this out properly so we proceed now this is connected you ticking from here to this point and also ticking from here to this point and when you do that this is what you'll be having so this is what we have here right so remember what i told you and just decide to just add it, put that to us so we'll see what we're talking about. So from here we have this to be mm, to 
videos of words okay i want to now we we'll proceed now that doesn't end there there's another circle where my arrow is pointing right the radius of that arc is 14 so what i'll do is from this point where the arc is connecting which is this point my arrow is pointing and i'm going to measure 14 from there 0 to 14 this is 10 this is 14 right at this point that point will have another center and just put that out Then the next one is 10, radius of 10. So we're going to measure radius of 10. And the next one, 0, 10. This will be the radius of 10 here. So I'll draw another center here. So the first one is 14, second one is 10. So for that of the 14, I'll place my compass this way. Take it to this point. Can you see that? I will strike an arc line first then I'll come to that of the 10 and place it in this point I'll do another one again this way hope you can see that so the same thing will happen here now if you look at this now that circle you're seeing here is given to be um, external right so we're going to what add the radius Going to be internal, so we're going to add the what I mean. If you look at the look at the 10 now, the rate of the 10, right? This arc here is that circle of the 10. Am I correct? Now, what do you see? The main circle here that has a rate of 13.5 is outside it. And whenever it's external like that, they are going to what they are going to add. So you'll be adding 10 plus 3.5, and that'll give us what 13.5. So I'm going to take my metal rule. I'm going to measure 13.5. From zero, this is ten, this is thirteen point five. Right? And I'll place it at this point here of the ten. I'll check an arc faint line. And the other one is internal, right? So I'm going to what I'm going to subtract. So fourteen minus three point five, and that's to give us what eleven point five. So I'm going to measure from 0, this is 10, this is 11, profile somewhere around here. I'm going to place it at this point, and I'll check another arc. So where they meet at this point, that is where I'm going to draw the arc that will connect these two of them. So let me do that. Hope you can see that. So I'm not taking the rest. How are you taking the rest? You place this one, this one, this down one here. Why this is so this one here? Right, so we have successfully reproduced the figure that is displayed at the right hand side of the screen using the principle of tangency and it is important for you to draw to what? draw out your dimension which is what i am going to be doing right away Hi. this is what we have here so if you have um, found this video helpful please don't forget to like subscribe and also share the video thanks for watching